Welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure of the Seven Stand User. We just entered Dio's mansion, and Abdul has found something on the wall. What Shall did we... he find? There's writing on the wall. Once you've read this writing, and you turn around, you will. <laughs> Ominous, ain't it? Ooh. When you turn I around, have a chicken dinner. you will die. The flame is normal, and Iggy isn't picking up any scent. It's vanilla ice! What the hell is that thing? Impossible! Neither my flame nor Iggy's nose can detect it, and yet there it is! Tasia, Polnareff, Iggy, get out of the way! So yeah, Abdul's fucking dead. Oh. Those are his arms on the ground. Nice. That's not nice at all. He's dead. He didn't even get a last <laughs> word or anything. He is dead. Gone. Yeah, just like, like that. Oh, uh, see ya. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Hey, Abdul, where'd you go? The hell was that just now? What? Those, those arms. Hey, Abdul, where are you? Abdul? Abdul! Abdul! Pant, 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 pant. Abdul! Pant. <laughs> what is this thing? Where did it come from? Why didn't Abdul's detector go off? Why didn't Iggy sniff it out? So yeah, Iggy's having a major panic attack right now. He's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> What the bloody hell just happened? Where are you, Avdol? Where did you go? Avdol is dead and disintegrated. Yeah, he just ate the arms. No. What? Iggy noises. Yeah. Inside my stand's mouth. Well. Even I don't know where it goes to. It's a realm of pitch darkness. I sent him there. You two are next. I have to change your minds about defeating Lord Dio. One by one. Eventually, I, Vanilla Ice, will send you all to my dark dimension. Ah, shit. But here's the no thing. Way. Paul, he's talking uh, to Polnareff right there. Abdo, you killed him? Don't try to fucking lie to me! Uh, what? Polnareff's stand can move that fast and attack even at this distance? I hadn't heard that. You piece of shit! Uh. Uh. Yeah, Polnareff's enter anger mode. He he's gone. Did you defeat him? Son of a bitch. I know I hit him, but I I didn't kill him. He just shrunk and disappeared. He disappeared along with the stand. Yeah. Uh, Abdul. Damn it, Abdul. Did it again. You gotta learn to practice what you preach. What do you mean, worry about yourself first? What do you mean, don't try to save me? Goddamn liar. You're always doing shit like this. Polnareff. Abdul. Why couldn't you just leave me alone? Shit, that was close. Th that was... Oh, out of nowhere. No smell. No sound. He just appears out of his dimension. If I hadn't moved when I did, I'd be dead. Holy shit. Is fate telling me to live on? Is Hobbitol telling me to keep fighting? Let's move. 
Tatsuya, Iggy, we can't afford to linger here. See, I need to be on the move. Both of you, let's get ourselves upstairs. You gonna, you gonna eat that back there? To think he could harm me, Vanilla Ice. It's just as Lord Dio said. Polnareff has the inner strength to conquer his fear of death. I must chase him down and kill him. My stand is much more powerful than his. I will win. Oh boy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's intimidating, kinda. Come yeah. on, we can, we'll leave the way we came in. No. I can't leave now. I'm not running away. I'm going where Dio's going. I talked to Mitch inside his mouth. I have no idea what that means, but it doesn't indicate his approach by smell or sound at all. So how? How do I beat it? What do I do? Yike. What? These holes! Shit, he's here! He's definitely here! He's gotta be close! Iggy! You watch my back! I'll watch yours! Tatsuya! Keep a lookout above us! Uh, okay! Pant, 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 pant. <laughs> now, where's he gonna come from? I've got it. He probably needs to make a hole in the wall to get in here. Now that I know that, I'll kill him the moment he shows his face! Come out wherever you are, bastard! I'll cut you to pieces! Killing Abdos only made my journey faster in its rage! Ugh. Where? Where will he attack from? So. Oh. So, if Vanilla Ice knows that we're running away, he's gonna put a stop to that immediately. Oh. Vanilla Ice stand opened up a hole and emerged from the floor. What? He was in the cracks! Huh? Oh! Chariot! The tip of Polnareff's foot was erased along with the floor. His toes are- toes. His toes are gone! Oh no! He ate his toes! toes. Polnareff! Polnareff! They got his toes! He got his toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Uh, uh, my friend, uh, my you, toes. Did you, did you cough <laughs> right there? <Yeah>. You went, uh. <laughs> Ow. Oh, Polnareff. First, I'll take your foot. That way you can't run around. You son of a bitch. Whoops. This only makes Polnareff angry. Hatsia, Iggy, over here! We saved game. We saved those. So, you've hid yourselves in this rubble. How utterly pointless. Polnareff can't get very far with that foot. He must be under one of these rocks. You're all you're all powerless before me, Vanilla Ice. But still, I must kill you at all costs. Polnareff's chariot was about to was able to hit me in the shoulder. That was no fluke. Now where is he? You're so noisy, Vanilla Ice. Huh? Dio. Uh, uh, Lord Dio. Please be careful, Polnareff. The dog and the other human are hiding so here somewhere. I am Floyd to let me take care of this. There's no need for you to be here. Gonna fucking destroy it. Because it's not Iggy. Because it's not Dio. It's Iggy Stan, the fool! Nice! The fake Dio made by the fool! He fell for it! Yes! Thinking that fake was the real thing, he got careless! Now we can break all his bones from the back. I'll turn his torso into paste. Normally a sneak attack like this would be too low for me, but I have no respect for the man who ambushed and killed Abdul. 
This is a fitting end for him. Drop dead, bastard! Uh-oh, he turned <laughs> around. Uh-oh. This is over. The guy's twisted and tore off the fake Dio's arm. Damn it, damn it, damn it! He saw right through it! Shoot, I knew he would mistake a face that close up. There's sunlight in this room. The real Dio would never show his face here. Iggy! <sighs> I couldn't get out of the way in time. My legs! So yeah, basically he took a chunk Just out of my it. he took a chunk out of my leg. Like like I'd say like a chunk out of like my uh my calf or my thigh, maybe, I don't know. Really? He took a big old chomp. Alright. Dunzia, are you okay? Hang in there! Okay, what's up? What's wrong with Iggy? The real Lord Dio, trust me. He said himself. He would never come down to the second floor. Never. Iggy. This is bad. He's gonna kill Iggy. He's gonna send him to the dark dimension. How dare you, you damn dog! You made me harm Lord Dio! Vanilla Ice punched Iggy with his own arm. That's not good. No, it don't look too good. What? Uh, what? He punched him! He has the power to just erase him! Why do that if not to kill him? How dare you! How dare you impersonate Lord Dio! How dare you make me attack him! I'll kick you to death, you stupid fucking animal! I could send you to the dark dimension in an instant, but no, that won't satisfy my anger. I'll kick the shit out of you, I'll crush your heart, I'll break all your bones, I'll make you suffer. This is your fault, it's all your fault, it's your fault for making me angry. It's all your fault! Like that! Have some more! How's that? Take that! And that! Stop it! The ice. This guy's crazy! He's pissed off because he attacked the fake Dio. The real Dark Dimension is inside his heart. It's nothing but a pitch black void in there. How's that? Take that! Stop it! Vanilla Ice! What's that? I'll kick the shit out of you too! So this is it. He's angry. This is it. Now to play the music. Alright, it's time to kill Vanilla Ice. Let's see, what was the one I needed? Uh, let's use Zanten Suken on him. He froze up in fear, good. Now, Vanilla Ice can one hit KO you. So he's very dangerous. Alright, so we're getting, we're getting pretty close, I think. So we're doing pretty good. Nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's help ourselves up to this, uh... Where is it? God, he's cool. Oh my god, that was dangerous. I flew, man, that was dangerous right there. I'm dead. Oh. Come on, Polnareff. Alright, let's hit him with one of these. Yeah, he likes this. Yeah! Take that, Vanilla Ice, to the dark dimension with you! Impossible! You knuckle-dragging morons! See, I wonder how the fight originally ends. Oh. Uh, basically, they caused some, like, holes in the walls, basically. And, uh, Polnareff literally, like, before, as he stabs he makes him into a pincushion first. But he, Vanilla Ice keeps getting back up. But, like, um... Before he's able to disintegrate him, Polnareff stabs him through the head, 
twists his neck, and he's and Polnareff assumes he's won. However, then Elias gets right back up, and Polnareff's like, <sighs> damn it. And he starts stabbing him more and more, and then... He makes a hole in the wall, and then Vanillites goes to punch him with his regular fist, only for his hand to disintegrate in the sunlight. So Polnareff's like, you're the same thing as Dio, a filthy vampire. And then, out of anger, he starts running towards him, only for his leg to literally disintegrate in the sunlight. And then oh, Polnareff nice. starts mad-dogging him, being all like, Well, aren't you an Avenger Master, Dio? Come on, come get me, Vanilla Ice! And Vanilla Ice is gonna go and like be all pissed and like you asshole or some shit like that. And Polnareff then says, "Rotten hell, you bastard!" And then his stand pushes him into the sunlight and he disintegrates. A fitting in for an asshole like him, right? Yep. But yeah, let's see if Iggy's all right. Iggy. Iggy, hey, get there, buddy. Damn, Iggy's losing blood. And. I think some of his broken ribs may have punctured his lungs. Open your eyes, Iggy! I'm gonna get you to a hospital! He's passed on. Shit! Iggy? Hey! Hey, Iggy! Hey! Now this hits harder because, um, if I didn't do that, if I lost that fight, by the way, um, like if I ran away from that, um, Iggy would have saved Polnareff's life and would have hit, made it extra tough for Polnareff because Iggy used his dying breath to save Polnareff. Ugh. See, I really... It, this whole mansion segment is just to keep Polnareff in the dick super hard. This is sad. It's a sad moment. Iggy! I think... I just know realized that I liked him. I understand that only now. Now that he's gone. I used to think you were a stuck-up, mean old doc who wouldn't warm to anyone. But I liked the way you wouldn't listen to anyone but yourself. You never sucked up to anyone. You had pride. I know that now. Iggy. A a anyway, I, I need to climb those stairs and get to Dio. We don't have time to sit and cry our eyes out. It's like, yeah, you're right. C come on, Tatsuya. Yeah, got it. But first, here's a handkerchief. Yeah. <sighs> So yeah, if we're gonna sit down here, have a good old cry. But yeah, you know what hits it even harder to home? Right yeah. after he kills Vanilla Ice, he literally sees the fucking ghosts of, like, Avdol and Iggy give him the thumbs up and fade away into the afterlife. So, oh. I know, right? They just... Let's hit Polnareff super hard. These curtains make pretty good bandages. At the very least, it'll make running and jumping a bit easier. It hurts, but it isn't the time to lose hearts. Let's get moving. All right. Let's get a move on. Someone's coming. It's him. Hmm. If it isn't Polnareff, it's been a while. Dio. So you finally show your face. Th that's Dio? <clears throat> so we finally meet again. Congratulations, Polnareff. You finally avenged your sister and managed to cross the Far East to get here without dying. If you want to give me a present, then give me your life. <laughs> you get one chance. If you wish to join me, step down. Your friend may come as well. There is no need to squander such young life. What? However, if you wish to die, then climb the stairs. When I first met you, I felt fear from the very depths of my heart. I submitted to your cursed strength. 
Thus began my life as a lapdog. A fate worse than death. A life where satisfaction was synonymous to being used by you. But now, I feel no fear. Only the urge to fight. After I met Mr. Joestar and the others, those 30 days of struggle and the deaths of my friends have swept away all my fear of you. Is that really true? In that case, climb the stairs. Oh, what have we here, Polnareff? You went down the stairs. Does that mean you wish to serve me again? Uh, uh, what? Huh? What? I definitely went up the stairs. What's wrong? Can't make up your mind, Polnareff? You're not scared of me, are you? Or maybe... You want in your heart to go up the stairs, but fear is causing your body to go down against your will? Uh. What's going on? I definitely went up just now. He's fucking pranking us. Huh? I'm... I'm right where I started again. What did he do? Is this a stand? Is it possible? Is it Dio stand the world? Zawardo? What's happening? Polnareff and Tatsuya, was it? Have you ever thought about what humans live for? Humans live because they desire peace of mind, to live a life without grief or suffering. Humans vie for fame, power, and money to attain this inner peace. They also get married and make friends for this reason. To serve a master, to fight for love and justice, both are just different solutions for the same problem. So in that case, what's wrong with serving me? At my call, you can easily gain anything your heart desires. Uh. <clears throat> Do you feel at all peaceful bracing yourself to challenge me even if it spells your doom? You're a choice stand user. It'd be a shame to kill you. Forget the Joe stars and join me. I'll give you peace of mind that will last forever. This pressure, it's chilling my spine. It feels like every breath could be my last. Could... could he be right? Could my body be submitted to him against my mind's wishes? This is bad. I have to hold on. Abdul, Iggy, give me strength. You, the, them ghosts did give us a thumbs up for no reason. Shut your damn mouth already, Dio! I'm not dead yet. I'll only die once I see your stand. Thinking you'll beat us so easy is the last mistake you'll ever make. Hmm. In that case, you both will die right here and now. With this overwhelming feel of power. So that's the world. Bring it on. Mr. Joseph! Relax. Polnareff! Tarsia! We've come to save the day! Dio! That was him! That was Dio. I have something to tell you before we go after him. Just now, I experienced a stand for myself. Huh? N no. I have experienced it, but I just can't understand what happened. I was trying to climb the stairs, but I always end up lower than where I started. He used the world, freeze time, pick him up, and put him back down. I know, that's literally what he just did. It's stupid. Is that actually what he did? Yeah, they don't show it, obviously, but, you know, because you're not supposed to know what it is. He goes like, mmm. All right, no, don't go upstairs. Put you right here, adjust you so you don't fall on your ass. All right, back upstairs. Mmm, you think you can get up here, yes. Yeah. It's <laughs> the fucking stupidest. All right, so, say the lines. All right, sorry, I'm getting the coke out of the fridge because I'm starting to start. I'm starting to cough. All right. You, you probably don't get a word I'm saying, but 
I don't get it either. He must have messed with my head. Yet I don't think it was something as simple as hypnosis or super speed. I think it's just the tip of the iceberg. Yada 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 yada. yada. Oh man, if we're gonna, obviously yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna finish this game in one night in, tonight, all right? So um, I hope yeah. you're ready for the one line, all right? You know, yeah, no, Dio, oh, you're approaching me. You're approaching me. We're gonna, instead of we're running gonna, away, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> instead of running, you choose to fight despite your grandfather's wishes. I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. Oh, oh, oh. then come as close as you can. <laughs> Even though it's just the two of us, then. To be honest, it's getting hard for me to imagine defeating him in a head-on fight. We defeat him in a head-on fight. <laughs> I tried to press mute as quick as I could. We are Abdul and Iggy. Uh, um, they're 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 kind of they're kind of dead. Emotional they're, crit. They're. They're not coming to save me. They... <sighs> oh. I see. Mr. Joestar, the sun is setting. If we don't hurry... Yes, we don't know much about Dio, but the fact that he's weak to sunlight remains clear. Now you see why I have those ripple abilities to make... Beating up Dio and a whole bunch of zombies super easy, you know? Yeah, because Dio's still an undead. Yeah, even if half of him, yeah, he's still undead, so he can still kick his ass that way. Hey, moron, we don't have time to waste. Answer my questions immediately, got it? What's above this floor? Basically, it's not like a, like a, like a, like a wimp. A, a tower. There's a room at the very top. Lord Dio sometimes goes there during the day. Is there any other way up besides the staircase? N no. Just these stairs. Then lead the way. Uh... Right, we're, the gonna, we're gonna call it a part right here, and then we'll be right back into the thrilling, you know, battle against Dio himself. Dio!